Hey everyone, welcome back to West of Loathing. We are here at Fort Treason. I think this is where we left off and we're gonna go in. Oh no, I was gonna do this. Right, 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 right. Okay, couldn't figure out what to do with that yet. So let's go locomotion. Um, where shall we go? Reboot Hill, Hellstrom Ranch, Petting Cemetery, Kellogg Ranch. Um, let's do Kellogg Ranch because it's far away. Phew, it's crazy hot out here. The desert is just the worst. If you stay here too long, you can end up like one of those charred black skeletons clacking towards you. Of course I'm gonna fight them. No, no surrendering. Never surrender. Stench damage. Oh, I can do some damage finally. 34 to 38 stench. Hi-ya. Susie. Pew, excellent. Hey. What did you do? Special attack. That's a weird one. Okay. How are y'all doing? I've uh, done a couple of recordings already today and I'm on a roll. I'm uh, gonna get busy here starting next week with my work schedule, so I'm trying to get ahead on my recordings. So dates and stuff might be weird and off whenever I talk. Um, like if I say, oh, I'm a, I recorded three videos today, they might be over a week apart kind of thing. Because level up mysticality, uh, just because I might do like two episodes of West Loathing back to back and then they won't go up for a couple days apart kind of thing. Loose teeth, gross. Main building. Kellogg's office, dormitory, kitchen, rules. It's a list of draconian fitness rules the guests of this sanatorium had to adhere to. Weigh myself. I weigh 24 kilograms. You don't know how to use the scale correctly. That's very light. I guess you are a stick, though. Years worth of height and weight re uh, recordings for the ranch's customers. It is the most boring book you've ever read in its entirety. Measure yourself. You are three cubits and one kilogram tall. You don't know how to use this ruler correctly. Wait, what did this say? Oh, I weigh 21, tw 27 short newtons. Whatever that is. Let's go to the kitchen. My favorite place in the house. It's a combination green sifter flour mill. Who knows what? It's green hoppers are currently empty. The label on this thing says dough press. This is a large oven, but it doesn't have a door, just a wide slot. Best sauce. Oh. K purity is the best sauce. Alright. Dormitory. Keep calm and enjoy nothing. Well. Oh no. I don't have the lockpick and for this. What is my lockpicking skill? Lockpick. Oh, one out of three. Not so good. Alright. Oh, this bed is covered in bones. Oh, okay. Empty... Chastity pants. Minus five, Moxie. These pants are optimally designed for preventing access to their contents. Contents. Uh, looks like a torn out part of a diary page. Opposed to achieve purity of glands, but I can't stand sleeping on those metal pl in those metal pants. They're so noisy, especially when I cut off. Thankfully, um, chastity pants reminds me of Robin Hood men in tights. Excellent movie if you haven't seen it. Ghost Man and Skeletor. Whoa, hello. Hello. So you're a ghost, huh? Yes, it does appear so, and alas, without me here to instruct them in my regime of purity, all of my patients have fled. That's probably not exactly why. Uh, they're likely out ravaging the countryside and, and their own bodies. One cannot have purity of the soul without purity of the body, you know. What's this whole purity cake about anyway? My threefold path of eliminate of the elimination of corruption influ corrupting influences. Would you like to hear about it? Sure, lay it on me. The first step I call purity of the glands. One must rid oneself of all romantic and sexual desires and cease any self-polluting activities. Like what? Smoking cigars? Well, yes, but I'm speaking more of, you know, nighttime activities. Alone. What? Anyway, that's the first step. Okay, what's the second step? The second set of purity of guts. This is accomplished through frequent cold water and MS yikes! And the consumption of wholesome and nutritious grain flakes manufactured through my personal scientifically developed recipe. 
What makes them different from other breakfast cereals? Did you not hear me? The recipe is scientifically developed. All right, what's the third step then? The final step is purity of muscles. I've developed an extensive exercise regime featuring several workout machines that I have invented myself. Neat, and all of this together, what was it? My regime eliminates corrupting influences from the body, thus purifying the soul, the body, mind, and soul. Well, that looks like a good result to shoot for, and it works. Certainly it does. Why, just look at me. You're dead. Only coincidentally. Uh-huh. Can I talk to you again? Investigate this desk. Uh, this desk is scrupulously tidy. In fact, there's not so much as a desk blotter or a single pen, and it only has one drawer. However, you find a secret button cleverly hidden out of the underside of that one drawer. Hey, that's my desk. Keep out of it. You're incorporeal, so go ahead and try to stop me. Well, I never. Press that secret button. A hidden panel slides open on the back wall, revealing a secret room. Awesome! Uh, well, I, I didn't mean to talk to you again. I was trying to investigate his desk. Uh, you find a binder full of cryptic, messily written notes labeled Kellogg's Grain Flakes Preparation. Decode it. You grab a sheet of paper and consolidate the crazy series of notes into a more or less straightforward recipe. The recipe reads, four parts barley oat, one part oat, three parts spelt. Press to 91 PSI, cook for eight minutes at 640. Excellent. Oh, I didn't want to go in there yet. Okay. This is the most boring secret room you can imagine. Keep calm and enjoy nothing. Wait, did I read that sign on the outside wrong? What? Is that all that's in here? Rip off. Mostly medical journals and Bibles, and some old National Geographics. Didn't mean to tiptoe my way in here. Boy, there are sure a lot of books about enemas, enemas on this shelf. It's a menacing ape skeleton. A grotesque anatomical chart. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. Fix it. Uh, 100 XP, cool. Let me crawl my way out. Can I keep calm and enjoy nothing? Can I... Do anything at the kitchen now? No. I thought maybe when I had the recipe I could do something. Oh! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Pry that up! I got Kellogg Ranch key ring! Sweet! Can I do anything with the key ring now? No. Um, gymnasium. Strap yourself in! You strap yourself into the machine and turn it on. The intense vibrations make your teeth bang together uncomfortably. It hurts. It's the lung flush. Suck on the blast hole. You've had enough exercise for now. This place is terrible. It's the stretch master for thousand. Your body, your body is so wrong. No, you've had it with fitness. Maybe you can try again later. Ow, oh, dang it. Unlock the door to the barn. You find the correct key and unlock the door. Go inside. Oh, I've been talking so much. I was playing Let in the Lion earlier and... So much dialogue. And it required so much brain power. Bad dialogue. Whoa, there's a lot of grain in here. If you ever need a lot of grain, you know where to find it. You gotta perk unlimited grain. What do I need? Oh, do I need grain for something? Wow. Grab one. Uh coil of barbed wire. Cool. Dig. Oh yes, haystacks. Endless stacks of grain, a lot of fertilizer. <gasps> Three needles! Yay! Can't harvest any of these. Okay. Is there anything else to do in here, really? Uh, okay. I guess not. You strap yourself into the machine and allow it to inflict some warm-up stretches. Keep going. Oh no, I looked sad. Yanks your shoulder out of his... Oh, okay. What if I do the suck hole first? Oh, my poor character. You put your mouth on the blast hole and turn the valve on the side of the machine. A blast of air inflates your lungs, making you really dizzy. This sounds like a terrible gym. Uh... Wait. I already asked you this. I don't care. Thought you'd have more to say. Okay, apparently not. Is that all there is here? Hmm. Something's a bit funny about this ranch. The fact that it's intact? Yeah, it doesn't even look at rebuilt. I think the cows must never have touched it at all. Hmm. 
Mm. Suspicious. Heading cemetery? The desolate Lonesome Coast. You see what you take to be an oasis in the boiling heat of this region and spur locomotion towards it. As you near it, you discover that you've been fooled. It wasn't an oasis, but an evil, towering, black stone cow monolith. Anyone could make that mistake, really. Try the bathe in it anyway. <laughs> I want to click it, but it's give up. Wow, hi. Uh, stench damage. Oh, yeah, bean wall. I kind of want to try that, just see what it does. Pew! Good job. 18. Attack! Again! Take that. Take my stenchy victory. I got an ungulate horn. And when Munedo Geode. Increasing my moxie. Cool. And gumption. Susie has become stronger. Oh, excellent. Good. Tickets. What? Ooh, stretch. Ugh. Howdy, partner! Welcome to Gorman Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and entertational. That is what that says, yeah? And only 500 meat for a lifetime pass. Entertational? Look, don't knock the powder, okay? Petting cemetery? That's right, a wide variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons, and you're free to touch them to your heart's content. Well, with your hands, that is. No writing. Can I feed them? You can try. Neat. Uh, interested in a membership? That's exorbitant. Exorbitant. It's a lifetime membership. If you were younger, it'd be worth more. Fair enough. How much money do I have? Uh, this is not where my money is. Oh wait, isn't my money here? Yeah, three. Oh, I have. Okay, let's go in. Why not? Bye. Uh, wonderful. Just hold still for a second while I memorize your face. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay, go right in and thank you for your patronage. Alrighty, let's go. Nothing I can harvest. Oof, ouch. This skeleton of a- this is a skeleton of a jack rat. Ah! This plaque says it's a pack rat skeleton, but there's nothing there. Nuts. Increases your armor. Buffalo skeleton. Take a picture of it! Oh, that's right. That is why I came here, wasn't it? This plaque's a desert ape, but there's no such thing. You're also pretty sure- Oh, you're pretty sure there's no such thing. Bobcat skeleton, hawk, range damage. Uh, let's do melee. Can I only pet one? Oh, I get Boon of the Bobcat. Cute. Pro. Wow, press 13 melee. That's awesome. Worth 500 meat? I don't think so. Wait. Who was I taking the picture for? Hmm, I, I don't remember. Someone in Breadwood? Chuck's house? Hey, Susie. Hey, Susie. Hey, Susie. Uh, another suggestion? Breadwood Bunker, okay. All right. uh, I noticed you're missing pack rat. Some damn fool hippie stole it, no idea. Uh, there's a reward. What's the reward? 50 meat. That's not very much. Well, depending on your life expectancy, it could be much as a whole decade of free admission. Okay, I'll get it. Oh, hey, okay, cool. Will you... I noticed you're missing buffalo. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Um, no, but... No, but I noticed you're missing ape. Yeah, the ridiculous fool Kellogg stole it to use for anatomy lessons. I tried to tell him it's stupid to use an ape skeleton to teach human anatomy. Especially when there's plenty of actual human skeletons out in the desert for free. He just wouldn't hear it, though. Sure. Let's go. All right. Now let's go back. Ah, hello. Will I make it without an encounter? No. There's a goblin marching down the trail to a, in a soldier's uniform, and pants of which have been seriously pinned up to account for the goblin's stubby little legs. It salutes when it sees you. Hello. Hello, what's up? I'm soldiering. Yes, I can see that. I didn't think there were any goblins in the military. What's your unit? What? Where are I getting... Where are a uniform getting? From dead soldier man, so I'm soldier now. Not quite how that works. You give the goblin a salute and continue on your way. 
Okay, Kellogg, I'm here for your desert ape skeleton. Thank you, bye. That was easy. Let's head over to the Fort of Darkness. That sounds ominous, doesn't it? Ooh, made it without a random encounter. All of these cannons have flowers stuck in the barrel. Oh, it's very hippie, I see. Oh, he did say something about hippies, didn't he? Wow, what is that? Loco weed. Locomotion would like that. Nice view. Okay. Oh my goodness, are those shrooms in the background over here? This guy seems to be in a daze, looking around uncomprehendingly at the boots and cobbler's tools around him. Hi there, the, these are some pretty cool boots you've made. Are they for sale? Huh? Uh, uh huh? No. I mean, I'd like to sell them to you, but they aren't mine. You didn't make them? It's funny how everyone assumes that, but no, these are all made by elves. Elves? Yeah, man, like little elf guys. They're hard to see, just kind of out of the corner of your eye, you know? But I'll be just kind of standing here and just kind of... And then I'm like, oh, hey, got another pair of boots in my hands. Guess the elves made some more boots. Huh. I haven't made a pair since a uh, pair of boots myself in, I don't know, like a year, years, something. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why. Weird. Okay. You should open up a boot store. Huh? A store to sell your boots in. They're not mine, though. They're right, right. The elves. But the elves can't be making them just for fun, right? I think they're making them so you can sell them. Oh, huh, yeah, that makes sense. There's a town called Dirtwater. You can open a really nice shop there. That's, um, that's a pretty long trip. Haha. <laughs> Haha, uh, but like, it'd be dangerous. I'm worried the elves wouldn't make it. I've got just the thing. Wow, what? Look at all these tiny little guns. This is why I keep stuff. I was selling stuff from my inventory before. This is why I keep stuff. Look at all these tiny little guns. See, with the elves, uh, with these, the elves will be able to defend themselves on the road to dirt water. Oh man, that's so weird. Okay, okay, yeah, cool. He packs his boots and tools together and heads out of the tent. It'll be kind of amazing if he actually makes it to dirt water, but stranger things have happened. All right. Uh, this young lady is dressed in fancy, expensive traveling clothes, though, uh, though hardware has made them dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. Wow, hi, a new face. My name's, uh, one sec. Irene, she giggles. Everyone here just calls me mushrooms, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene, I'm Edna. What's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing, you know? But kind of like a big happy family here and everyone's so nice and appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh-huh. They're good for all kinds of things if you know which ones to pick. If you want, I can sell you a few of my favorites. Okay, cool. Would you like to buy a mushroom? <laughs> me. No thanks, see you later. I have 2,000. I don't really want to spend all in case I find more books to buy. We'll see. What is going on in here? Nope, can't take anything from there. Hi, I'm Edna. Teeth, 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 clavicle, femur, teeth. Wow, okay. Give her some bones. You hand her an armload of bones, and she starts mechanically picking through them, selecting some and discarding others based on criteria you can't discern. Eventually, having chosen the best two from the pile, she secures them with wire and screws and hand, uh, wire and screws and hands you something that looks like a sword. Deal spooky damage. Cool. It's blunt and scary, which is half of the things sword ought to be. Neat, thanks. Ah, I should have saved some. Hi, I'm Edna. Salutations, Edna. They call me the talking dude because of my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and the arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. I bet that's not why they call you that. Can I interest you in a discussion of the particulars of Christian philosophy? Sure, why not? The talking do begins and you immediately tune out. Blah, blah. In the writings of Zeno. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Blah, blah. Meaning of life. Blah, blah. <gasps> you fake a gas. Your posture alone is enough to keep him talking. Blah, blah. Meaning of life. Blah, blah. But that's big. begging the question. Blah, blah. I understand completely. Blah, blah, blah. Propositional calculus. Mm-hmm. He sees interest in your eyes and continues with renewed vigor. Um. Fascinating. <gasps> I understand completely. Narrow your eyes. Yes, I agree. Narrow your eyes. Yes. 
he... Hmm, it actually seems like someone is rubbing off on you. You got a pert curtsy and philosopher. You're well-versed in curtsy and philosophy, or at least you're clever enough to pretend to be. Aha! Feign interest. Oh, I, I think that was probably... Okay, I think that was it. Cool. Uh, bone sword. I think my sword does a lot more... 12 to 15. 13 to 17. That's not bad, actually. It's better than Black Excalibur. Plus 6 muscle. Spooky instead of physical. Oops, I didn't mean to click there. Uh, wait, what did that change my... My muscle is at 20... 33. Hmm. Let's try Bone Sword for a tiny bit. We can always come back to Black Excalibur. Yo, hello. Ah, hello, guess, hello, guess. Mm, I'm Todd. Edna, pleased to meet you. So, uh, what do you do around here, Todd? I'm a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Properties like what? Like how they get you totally ragged. Ha ha. Right. I'm kidding. They actually have a lot of interesting properties that could be a real boon to medicine. They may even hold a solution to many psychological disorders. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, the fact that they also get you absolutely smashed is just a happy side effect. Ha ha ha, I see. If you have any Lactarius Dirt Hippica mushrooms, I can refine them into a more potent, potable, i.e. a potion. Hee <laughs> hee. No thanks. wonder if that's the mushroom I can get from that girl. What are you, are you playing the mouth harp? A jaw harp! This woman is rocking back and forth, making <laughs> sounds as she rapidly flaps her lips with her fingers. Uh, hi? Hi! You give her a jaw harp. What's this? It's a kind of- Oh, will she go to dirt water and join the band? It's a kind of musical instrument. You bite the narrow part and then, well, basically, just do what you've been doing. She gives it a few experimental twangs and boings and then knocks out a sweet riff. Wow, this thing is like a revelation. Thanks. I feel like maybe I should take this show on the road. Maybe try the Jewel Saloon in dirt water. Sounds good to me. Thanks again. She leaves, plunking that twanger the whole way. That sounds dirty. This is not what I expected to walk into. <laughs> Wait. I'm just gonna let this go for a little bit. This is amazing. Oh, please don't be copyrighted music. Okay. I could go on watching this for ages. This is amazing. This record must be from a foreign country where the music is way weirder. Alright, no one's gonna talk to me? Okay, bye. Um, loot it. Pry it open. Oops, I didn't mean to walk out. I was prying stuff open. Chemical, chemical, chemical. A chest full of metals. Uh, simple one. Cannon loading for idiots. I need that. Uh, it goes on your lapel. What is my lapel now? Three pistol damage. Nine moxie. I... I think my moxie's... what is my moxie? 24, wait, 33. Alright, did my muscle go down? Armor, moxie... okay. Uh, and then... Idget, read that. This book is so rudimentary that it's insulting to your intelligence, even though you know enough, almost nothing about loading cannons. Oh, is that... Okay. Check it out. There's only one file in the drawer, and it's a discharge record for a soldier who died from using poisonous mushrooms. The last entry said she was buried in plot 420 of a military cemetery up north. You mark the location on your map. Crack it! Army issue sidearm. 13 to 16, 17. Plus 5 moxie. Plus 6 moxie. I'll keep what I have. Is that all? Looks like that might be all. Oh, I can't wander. Oh, I can. Uh, alright. 
Uh, you notice a black spot in the base of the mountains. Madness Maw Mine. Yeah, let's go there. I didn't realize I could travel from my map. I guess that makes... What's wrong with your base? You aren't one of us. Be gone from this place, interloper. Interloper. You English. Now you know... Rewind. Now you know something bad is going down. Nobody good uses the word interloper. What makes you say that? Well, I don't recognize you. But how could you possibly recognize anyone with the masks and robes and all? I should be easier for you to recognize because I'm not wearing that stuff. Don't you remember me? No. That's probably because you never see me without the mask on. I guess that makes sense. Okay, come in. I do have one of those masks. Should I put it on? Uh, ouch. Harvest. Nope. Inside we go. Okay. Hello there, fellow cultist. What? Go away. That's not very friendly. This isn't a knitting circle. Where's your mask anyway? Okay, I should- oops. I should put on the mask then, is what you're telling me. Yeah. The cultist ignores you. Ignores you. You don't like this spiral. Maybe I do like this spiral. You hate this spiral. You don't like this. Ignores you. What's that? Mmm, dense bean iron nugget. Yum. Ignores you. Uh, why is your- Wow, that shadow is amazing. I still don't like it. Let me, uh, just ride my lantern over here, boys. Don't worry about it. Our girls, I guess. What's this? No, I dip up- dip, 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 dip. There was paper on the wall. It says, Dear Jeff, the big guy says stay out of here. Praise be to Robert. Sincerely, Jeff. Sparkles. More of dense bean iron nuggets. Whoa, dig it. A ladder, yeah. Uh, the screen on this machine says Chano, Chan, Chan, Chano. Uh, hmm. Number two. Hmm. Number three. Hmm. Alright, how about number four? Hmm. Take that cylinder. I got an El Vibrato cylinder. Punch cards. Complicated. Sweet. Scrounge. Alright, do I have enough chips now? I got an El Vibrato helmet. Well... Did I learn the word for helmet? Alright. Uh, what's an Elberbot helmet? 11 spell damage. Wow. Um. Hmm. Where was it that I found. What happened to your mask? I found. A place where I could use those punch cards. Uh, what was they wearing before? Black hat? I think I was. I love the spell for muscality, for muscle. Uh, two armor and two mock. That's not bad. For muscality. Four muscle is pretty good. That's a good hat, also. Okie mm, dokie. Let's go, locomotion. This place is weird. Wait, did I get the skeleton from here? Why am I so spacey? Let's say yes. Fight! Whatever it is coming towards me, you guys. Spooky damage. Take my spooky. Stab it. Rude. Uh, bean golem. Hmm. Oh, Susie's damage went up a lot. Ouch, kibibbles. Stop it! Get him, Bingo. You didn't do much damage, buddy. Pew! Alrighty. 
Victory! Skeleton bones. Nice. I mean, buffalo, 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 buffalo to buffalo, buffalo. There's every place to hide some bones. This is it. A cursed skeleton. Infectious beast. Cool. Bombadus horse. What kind of game is this? Okay. Nothing coming with that. Uh, right door, I guess. Oh, blood. What? It's a big beaker. Collects. Yes. I felt the beaker throw the way up with blood. Milk. The liquid begins to bubble. How will it end? Yes, tell me. What in the reactions that your sludge are ruined lemonade? Don't quit your day job. Okay. I'm clearly supposed to make something here, right? Icker, milk, and blood. I haven't got anything to collect it in. Okay. Okay, no. Can I fill it up again? How will it end? Unsurprisingly, after the reaction concludes, you left the big beaker of milk. You don't like milk, so you pour it. That was anticlimactic. What am I supposed to do here? The faucet is clogged shut. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Useless black fluid. Take that black fluid. The faucet is fused shut. Only thing left is blood. Great. Watch the reaction. Blood. Uh, the faucets are fused shut. Weird. Did I do a mistake? I think I did a mistake. Oh, shoot. Atop this lab, there's a skeleton shaped indentation with a buffalo shaped indentation where the normal human skull shaped indentation should be. There's a good thing to keep in mind if you end up in the possession of bones necessary to fill the indentation. You look through the bars to see hundreds of buffalo-human skeleton hybrids locked in there, three to a cell. The keys are hanging right next to the door. You could let some out if you wanted, but they all look pretty angry. I'm very confused. I think I, I made a mistake. I should not have just willy-nilly grabbed stuff, huh? Whoops. I guess we'll see what becomes of this. Ow! Oh, I might die here. This is bad. Whoa, 56 spooky damage. I have nine action points. Holy cow. Attack by bean wall. You're on fire. Oh, I can attack the walls. I see. Shoot. Oh, I can hit you. My bean wall. All right, I'll save my AP for bean wall now because uh, I might need that. 28 to 32, attack you. Hey, that rhymed. Hmm. 
Buffalo Soldier. You just back off, Mr. Soldier. Oh, Susie, I hope you can hit this guy. Susie has no interest. I'm not trying to make you shoot things that are already dead, Susie. Can you not? There. Okay. Alright. Okay, fair enough. I want to attack you. Attack! Yeah! Susie can keep attacking the bone wall. I should be able to take him out before he takes us out. Pew. Alright, and that should do it. Yes. Susie, if you had some melee, that'd be great. Glamour. Blech. Some of them really hadn't finished decomposing. Ew. Grab a buffalo's worth. Uh, each full of human and buffalo bones. Petting cemetery. Oh, he'll be so happy. Flush the toilet. Hooray. Invest it. What? Investigate. Advanced bean craft. Read. Uh. <laughs> Increase my mysticality, reduces muscle. Oh, <gasps> great! Northern Blizzard! Yep. A spell which deals cold damage to all of your enemies. Unfortunately, at some point, the book got completely covered in a snowdrift and is all soggy and ruined. Well, flush it. Dig through the trash. Discipline slip. The music is so intense. Looks like one of the necromancer's cultists got written up. Two more of these and he'll be ritually eviscerated. Nothing personal, it's just corporate policy. Was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious, I'll check that out. Can I look at any of these? Nope, okay. Bones rule. Hide in it. Wait. <clears throat> you wait and wait and finally hear some noises outside as a couple of cultists pass through on their way from somewhere to somewhere else. You don't catch much of what they say, but you what you do hear is, no, no, Doug, that's not it at all, remember. Blood before milk, as obsolete as the word thilk. That's kind of a stretch. Wait. Blood before milk. Uh, this time you will hear something different. That's the same thing. Blood before milk. Milk before ichor. Soldier wakes up quicker. Blood after ichor. Fail and turn to liquor. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because I'm gonna forget what that says. Boop. Okay. Get my tank back. Uh, leave. Cot, it's empty. Sloppy cot. Don't have slock picking. Take that. Intermediate next max. Gives you a vampiric yodel skill. Uh, this seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Yep. Are you certain the dark arts are no laughing matter? This could really mess you up. Yeah. As you read the words in this book, a voice that is not your own howls along with them in your head. As you get near to the end of the book, the howl becomes more and more melodic. You've got a skill of vampiric yodel. yodel a he boo As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Ugh. Your body withers and shrinks. you got a perk emaciated minus three muscle. No. Mistakes were made. Take a look. Um, what kind of game is this? Hey. Uh, go elsewhere. Okay. Is this not the way in? It is the way in. Can I get these again? No, the faucet is fused shut. Mistakes were made. You hear a lot of activity down that corridor. Chanting and shuffling and clattering of bones. Scary stuff. Don't tell me what to do. Ah, uh, you should have told me what to do. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, that's a lot of people. Okay, well, mistakes were made. 45 hot damage. 30, okay. Uh, attack. 
This might end poorly, people. Whiff! Thanks, Beanmall. Saving my life. And then I'll attack you. Can I make a second bean wall? Oh, I can make a second bean wall. Cool. Uh, I'll attack you guys. Alright, as long as the bean wall holds them, it should be okay. Fortunately, it does. Okay. Alright. I'm really glad you guys just keep whiffing. Another bean wall. And 27. I can probably kill you. Yes, good. Alright, Edna. No, your name is Susie. I am Edna. Alright, I'm glad you guys aren't doing any damage. Great, great, great. Okay, we might be okay. We might be okay. Oh, I wanted to try that one. That's okay. As long as we stay safe. We should be okay. We should be okay. Maybe we're okay. Oh, attack this guy. Uh, nope, Susie will not kill him. That's okay. Whiff! Alright, let's attack you. Susie can deal with this guy. And we just have two to deal with, and these three people who aren't doing any damage to me. Uh, 3842. Trying to shoot this target will hit Doug, the necromancer cultist. Oh, are you Doug? I like that I just walk through the people to go, uh, attack. No, Susie! Oh. I guess that makes sense. All right, uh, I will attack this guy. Susie, I guess you can just start picking off these people. I'll attack Buffalo Soldier Rifleman. Oh, the sun is coming out. Oh, don't mess with the white balance. I mean, the light balance. The light white balance. I cannot talk today. All right, you'll be able to hit me next time. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, Susie will hastily construct some cover. I think it's more useful if she attacks, actually. Oh, that's only 19, not too bad. Okay, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. We got this. Yuck. All right, we're good. You two just keep whipping. Yeah. What did you say to me? Sorry, bye. That hat is the real reason we're winning. It's a great hat. Yeah, victory. You have single-handedly, I have two hands, Susie has two, four-handedly, put a stop to the cult activities of Buffalo Pile. Impressive. You pretty much have run of the place now if you need any bones for anything. I got a perk unlimited bones. Hooray. Uh, but I want to, I wanted to. I know, I don't, I've already been there. Grab them bones. Fine, I will leave this lap alone then. Lemonade. Uh, mistakes were made. Oops, nope. 
All right. What was down here to the left? Okay. I think we're done in here. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Let's go. Uh, head over to- no, wait, wait, no, wait, no, not Kellogg, some- no, uh, yeah, uh, open it. Lost Dutch oven mine. Smelling salts. I didn't mean to go to Kellogg Ranch. I meant to go to Petting Cemetery. <clears throat> uh, fire snakes. Yeah, let's fight them. Hey, buddies. Got the jump on you. 34, 36, beam damage, spooky, action, beam... Oh, let's try the spell. Snowing beans. Excellent. I approve. Great. <clears throat> Ow. Ugh. Alright, I'm getting very hot with the sun on me. It was nice and cool the other day. I had on a jacket while I was recording, and I it was great. I had a blanket, it was cozy, and tea, and today is very hot again. I do not approve. A jerk! Oh, you have two hit points left. Well, that's ridiculous. Minus 26, take that. Fire moccasin. Rude. How dare you? Fire moccasin skin. Cool. Good. Heading to cemetery. Hey. Uh. Yes, I got your buffalo bones. Moxie level 10. I got your ape skeleton. Muscle level 10. Where? Hey, Su- Hey- Hey, Suzy. Uh, El Vibrato, oh yeah. Uh, thanks, ask for another suggestion. Owl Skeleton, oh yeah, I was gonna do that. Fort of Darkness, okay. I, no, go away. Fort of Darkness, let's go. I was here. How did I miss it? Uh, El Vibrato Keystone, no. All right, let's take two. Where did I miss it? Bye, mushroom. Ah. Opens your third eye halfway, increasing mysticality by 23. Holy cow. There, uh, there you are. These are called Lactarium Dirt Hippica, and they're very spiritual. Sometimes they'll let you see things that only exist in the realm outside of our own, and stuff? Plus, they're super groovy and mellow. Great. You? Uh, have some bones. Oh no, I got another bone sword. Wait, was that it? Was that the pack rat skeleton? I just walked past it. Could have saved my meat. Nope, that's not what. Not where I meant to go. Where was the scientist, man? There you are. I do. Go easy on the stuff. It has a real kick to it. Ha 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 ah 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 ah. Oh, fully opens your third eye. We'll have to try that next time, maybe. Okay, let's go to the petting cemetery. And then we'll head up and give that. Uh, what? Your travels are interrupted by a fairly disturbing sight a skeleton covered with weird glowing mushrooms, which is shambling towards you, making an angry hissing sound and weird gestures. This game is great. A mushroom covered skeleton. I don't even know what to say. Psychedelic spore attack. Ow. Psychedelic spore attack. Stop that. Wouch. You almost deaded me. I deaded you first. Safe cracking level three. Finally. Mushroom covered bone. Nice. Yo, dude. Yep. 
Vampiric Lodal. Yodel. Yodel. What else do these things do? Oh, I can't even see because I've already pet an animal today. Alright. Let's head up to Bread Water. Nope. Was that what it's called? Bread Wood. Excuse me. Uh, uh, clacking hissy sound draws your attention to a skeleton limping out of the shadows. He's wearing the dried rotted tatters of an old army jacket and is so full of bullet holes that he's more of a skeleton-shaped cloud of hovering bone splinters than a skeleton. He must, what the ha he must have what they call true grit. Outfox them. Hiss. Oh, poor guy. I mean, oh, wait, hold on. This is impossible. Hiss? I mean, look at you. I'm willing to suspend disbelief for other skeletons because of, like, dried-out ligaments and so on, but there's no way you're holding together enough to stand up on. Let alone walk. Look at that femur. It's broken right through in three different places. The skeleton looks down at his shattered bones, and while he's distracted, you quickly push him over and jump up and down on him until the fragments stop trying to move. You got coxy with... Coxic? With a hole in it. This is a human-sized tailbone with a finger-sized hole shot through it. Oh no, a human tailbone. Wow. A human tailbone with a finger-sized hole shot through it. Literally, a skeleton's butthole. What do I do with it? It's uh, so fantastic. Forgot about that horse. It scared me. Okay. Can I flush toilet? I already flushed toilet. Did you? No. Did you? Hey. Oh, great. Will you look at that? What a beaut. Thank you, Edna. I ain't got a real reward, but I imagine you'll get some experience points out of it. What fun meta this is. See ya. What's in here? What do I do with it? Oh. Uh, eight pistol attack. Oh, mosquito. I have the window open because it's kind of nice out, but mosquito came in. Uh, let's re-equip. No. Oh, finger size tool, and I see now. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I've been recording about 50 minutes now, so I think that'll do it for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you have any other games you'd like to see me play, please write it down in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out in trying to join to grow my channel. And so anyone who subscribes or comments or anything really helps out a lot. Um, if you have any spooky Halloween games particularly, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until then, bye!